Hi, hello, I'm the Cyber Rift Guru. Thank you for watching. So, you know, I've been kind of, what's the right word? Complaining <laughs> about my rig here. Um, it's not optimal for filming things other than me looking into the camera and a, a small handful of other things. I've got a web camera here, which was working wonderfully over the last couple years. Got a couple lights here, you can see. Uh, the lighting needs some work. Uh, that's for a different story. But I've been talking about maybe getting a new camera and I've been on the fence about exactly what I want to do and I didn't really want to spend the money, but I've had some projects over the last couple of months that I filmed in the garage and I have found it exceptionally difficult to do it properly. Uh, basically what I've been doing is filming with my iPhone and my iPad uh, on various mounts that I mock up at the time that I'm trying to film and it's just it's challenging uh, focus is a problem uh, brightness lightness um, is a huge problem because the lighting in the garage is terrible which is another project for another day so I finally broke down I purchased a camera I was set on buying the Panasonic Lumix G7 uh, I did a ton of research. It met my price criteria. It met kind of the quality criteria I was looking for, even though the camera's quite dated. Um, I'm not, I don't really care if it's a full sensor or micro four thirds. That's really not my issue here. I'm looking for, you know, kind of a vlogging camera. So um, over Christmas time, I, I was getting ready to kind of sort of pull the trigger. I was waiting for some sort of Black Friday sale or some something and it never went on sale uh, not appreciably anyway so uh, i was doing some research and i the one thing that i didn't like or there's two things that i didn't like about the g7 number one it doesn't have in-body stabilization uh, I, I don't need that for this rig but there are other things that i do that i want it for so it's kind of like mm, I, I really uh, i really want the stabilization and then the other thing which I really wanted, but the G7 doesn't have, which is weather sealing, um, both for the same purpose. I do ultimate Frisbee on the weekends, um, and if I wanna go out and video some of the ultimate Frisbee in whatever weather there is, having the weather sealing and having the in-body in stabilization are kind of really important things. Um, and that's something I wanna start doing, especially when we go out to Beach Ultimate, because Beach Ultimate is fun, uh, but there's water and sand, problematic, and you're moving around a lot, problematic if you don't have weather sealing and you don't have the in-body st in stabilization. So I kind of did a lot of research over the period of a couple of days and came to the conclusion, I think the G85 or the G80, depending on what part of the uh, globe you live in, is the right camera for me. So ultimately I decided to go ahead and make the plunge. I found a decent deal online, it's a kit, it come with, comes with a bunch of stuff. I did not buy the kit with the most amount of stuff. I bought the kit that had pretty much everything that I wanted, except for one thing. I wanted a better microphone. I wanted a Rode uh, video mic. Uh, I found a couple kits with that, but it didn't have some of the other stuff uh, that I wanted or not the right things that I wanted. So I ended up buying a kit that had a bag, some other peripherals, which I will show you here in a minute. And then um, I got a... a the bigger tripod, the taller tripod, and then the Rode mic I got separately. So bought it all from Amazon, came in at a fairly decent price. It was uh, twice as much money as I wanted to expend, uh, twice as much money as I wanted to spend, um, but, uh, and I don't even remember what it cost, so, you know, Google it, you can figure it out, <laughs> sorry. So what did I get in the kit? Well. Let me pull all the parts forward here and kind of show it to you. Um, so it's what you would expect, quite honestly. Uh, memory card, pretty decent one, 64 gigabytes, not as big as I would want. Um, but all the research I did, 32 to 64 should be fine. Having not used it, I don't know how much memory I'm going to need, so I'll stick with 64. I do have 128 that I've been using, and I've got a couple 32s laying around for a variety of other things, so I, I have memory cards. Um, it has this little thing. I haven't opened it yet. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's in here. I think it's a memory card holder. It's not the, the it's not this, which is the filters. This has its own case, so it came with the filters, so I don't know what this is. Um, the other thing it came with is a flash. I don't know how much, I'm sorry, this is the battery charger. Um, 
I'll use a battery charger. Um, I thought, and it's possible, um, I thought I bought a kit with two batteries. That was one of the things I was on the fence about, a kit with one battery, two batteries. Um, but I'll, I'll take it all apart later. Um, it came with a flash. Here's the flash. I don't know how much I'll use it. Uh, and this flash in particular is not terribly well rated, but it's not terribly rated like some of the other kit stuff that I saw. So here's a tripod. I already have one of these. I actually have a name brand one. Uh, this is Ritz gear. Um, I bought a Ritz package, uh, Ritz camera. All right, uh, Ritz camera. So we'll, we'll see how it works out. I'm sure the quality will be fine. Um, it came with some screen protectors, which I may or may not use, I don't know. Uh, it also came with a cleaning kit, which, uh, look, you can buy all of this separately, but for the same cost of the camera and the lens, you can get all of this. So why not? Um, I know that I've done some research. The filter kit here is not awesome, <laughs> uh, but it should be good enough uh, for what I'm going to do to protect the screen when I need to protect it. But everything else is essentially free, right? So cleaning kit, um, and it came with this box, which I haven't opened yet. Let's, let's see what's in this box. Um, oh, huh. all right, two batteries. So I did buy the kit with two batteries. For, this kit was, um, I think, uh, 780, 798, 797, something like this on Amazon. Um, plus the road mic for another 50 bucks and then the stand was 20 some odd dollars so it came in just uh, about 850 or something like this um, and then the Lumix uh, G85 I haven't opened this yet I haven't opened anything I just unboxed it so you count this as an unboxing video if you want um, but I just you know I just thought I would make this quick video and say hey I got a new camera maybe these videos will be higher quality uh, I don't know what higher quality means. I think content is quality, but not everyone on the interwebs agrees. So uh, I'm going to leave this video for this. Um, I will play with this. I will probably do some sort of uh, what I'll call my review of it because I am not a camera expert. I don't know a whole lot about cameras. Um, not really a vlogging expert either. So uh, it's going to be how I feel about it for what I do. And I think it should work out. Um, it's it's well regarded in the community. It's well rated. So anyway, if you like this video, thumbs up. As always, if you don't like the video, thumbs up anyway. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Ring the bell if you so choose to do so. Down in the comments, I've added my Instagram feed and my Twitter feed. Check those out. I usually post there while I'm making projects. Those You'll get kind of early snapshots of what I'm working on. If it's a project that you know is capable of taking pictures of, not like a fusion demo or something like this uh and other than that you know thanks for making it this far all right hope everyone has a great night great evening great day whenever you're watching this and don't forget to be inspired thanks everyone All right. The other thing that I wasn't uh, terribly happy with, which is um, something that I can't remember right now. Uh, G A. Oh. Uh. <laughs>